Hello everyone, welcome back to the Future Military News Channel. The TFX program, also known as Mili Muharip Yukak, MMU or National Combat Aircraft, started in December 2010 to build Turkey's domestically built fifth generation fighter. The video shows that the fuselage and wings have been mostly assembled. The absence of horizontal stabilizers, twin engines, outward tilted tail fins, modern avionics and ejection seats are visible in the pictures. The prototype of the aircraft is expected to be completed in 2023, with the first flight scheduled for 2025. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan also confirmed this timeline in January 2022. However, there seems to be some ambiguity around the specific time frame in which the Turkish Air Force will deploy the aircraft. Initially, the first examples of the production cycle were intended to enter service in early 2028. However, the Turkish Air Force is currently expected to start receiving the aircraft in the early 2030s. Program-Related Challenges At that time, the Turkish Air Force did not have an urgent need for a fifth-generation fighter as the country was an important partner of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Program and had plans to buy 100 F-35s. It even invested up to $1.4 billion in the F-35 program. However, Turkey was kicked out of the F-35 program in 2019 by Washington in retaliation for Ankara's earlier acquisition of the Russian S-400 missile defense system. As well as losing $1.4 billion in investment, Ankara is also missing $9 billion in potential economic activity that would result from the country's long-term involvement in the F-35 program. The TFX program served as a lifeline in several ways for Turkey's domestic military sector, which was recovering from this significant and unexpected setback. However, the country's ability to develop the aircraft also faces further challenges due to the loss of the F-35. In July, the Turkish government launched a competition to develop a homemade turbofan engine that would power the TFX fighter jet. Another engine option is Rolls-Royce, which GE first passed on as a supplier of TFX power plants. In its proposal, the business offered to build an engine production facility in Turkey that would also produce engines for helicopters, tanks, and missiles, in addition to the TFX. In February 2022, VAE Systems tweeted, we are working closely with Turkish Aerospace to bring engineering know-how and expertise to the TFX program. Meanwhile, Turkey intends to purchase 40 new F-16 Block 70 70 seconds jets and the necessary kit to upgrade the current additional 80 F-16C-D. The new and upgraded F-16s will serve as an interim solution until the TFX can be deployed in large numbers. However, given the strained relations between Ankara and Washington, such a deal is far from guaranteed. 